All right, let's start. So good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us um, at Ruby Tuesday, the second session. My name is Uing, and I am a co-organizer for Ruby Tuesday, as well as a member of Nimble. So Ruby Tuesday is a bi-monthly meetup, uh, which started two months ago. And what we would like to achieve during the meetup is to create and foster an active and sharing developer community. So for a meetup to run consistently, what we are always looking for is participation. So thank you you all for uh, being here with us today. And also, we um, are always looking for speakers as well as volunteers and sponsors to join us to keep the event going on consistently. So if you're interested in becoming a speaker, a volunteer, or maybe sponsoring us, uh, just give me a chat and we can discuss more about it, okay? All right, so that's a quick introduction. And, and again, shout out to Nimble and also this time, Laksul, uh, for sponsoring the event and also becoming our speaker. Um, and let's keep it short. And without further ado, let's welcome the first speaker for today, Tan. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. I am Tan. Currently, I work at uh, Nimble web developer so today i will share with you about the topic uh, template with template to heaven okay then uh, first we uh, we will go through the agenda. So I will talk first. I will talk about uh, how we initialize new uh, rail application. Then after that, uh, I will talk about uh, custom rail application template and uh, how uh, currently at Nimble how we use how we customize this application template to apply to our uh, project at Nimbo, then uh, demo and roadmap for the uh, Nimbo Rail template. So we start with a question about how do you start a new Rail project? Anyone uh, can share? Normally we use Rail New and uh, the app name, right? like uh, real new Shopify, real new uh, GitHub, or real new Airbnb. Yes, the company you uh, real in their core. But uh, there is uh, the issue with the deep approach. What issue I want to talk is about the uh, first, if we are developer, normally we, we we paid for typing, for developing. So take a uh, pause a bit and uh, take a look at uh, whole project, think in terms of business, and uh, you will see there are some issues. First, about the time. If you do the real new application and you have to, after that, you have to add some change and uh, do the config create the docker, create the deployment, and uh, many, many other, I mean, it's a kind of shallow work. Why I say it is a shallow work? Because the kind of thing we can automate and we can use some kind of script to, to do it. The second thing is about the duplicate work. For example, if you have another project, and you also do the real new, and you have to do the same thing that you did before with the previous projects. And uh, the the third is about the best practice. If you work for with rail for long term, and you know which jam is the best for you, which jam is the best for project for this requirement, then yeah, you will reuse it. But if you don't have real template, you have to do it uh, manually by copy, 
from the old gem file to the new project then yeah it's also kind of shallow work then all of it take a lot of time it's uh, increase the cost also some risk for manual work and we don't have too much time to spend to in, in improve our product quality so the problem here is this is our code right that's and this is what the the customer want so the we are at developer we try to reduce the, this distance this gap as much as possible yeah then with revenue and we uh, we uh, I think we a bit difficult to 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 do this so there are a better way because when uh, we talk about rail it's a uh, web framework like another like uh, symphony laravel and uh, yes but what makes rail uh, different with other i think it is about the productivity it's made the uh, it getting done faster with less effort when compared to another framework i think this is the the most important of rail and yeah no one uh, uh sorry the same command at uh previous but i uh, just add one more parameter uh, dash m and template this template file can be on the uh, server or your local file this is where the matrix happen right is for the template.rb it's just a symbol ruby script no more no less it's based on the uh it's based on the original original rail template which we can use the template api also some um, method provided from the tor gem for example like this you can see we add the gem internationalization js and copy some uh, file and edit the config and here we have an uh, uh, um, uh, an event like after the bundle finished we do some uh, git init and git add git commit yeah i will demo you a bit here As you can see here, the the my hello world strip is look like the in the slide. Like here, I generate a scaffold command with the player model, and add one root to the index of player and run db my array, and uh, do a first git commit. I already uh, rerun it here. So what is the difference? like other brand new command here it start to apply the template some instruction like generate scaffold generate and uh, create my ray create controller yeah db my ray something like that so it's have it do a lot of shallow work to then we don't have to do it manually So based on that, at Nimble, our web team start to think about how to make uh, our template file. 
based on the customer requirement, based on our experience with uh, previous projects, we think about how to create a better template to show as much as shallow work as possible. So the next time the new project comes, then we just uh, revenue, then uh, the app is up and running. That's uh, the general idea. But we also face some issue about uh, how we will customize for different project. As you can see, the project is different for customer, different requirement. It's not like the same thing. This is the first problem. The, the second is about uh, how to make it easy to contribute, like extensive uh, about uh, our team have uh, around uh, 15 developer, how to make it easier for developer to contribute their, their experience, their knowledge to make our tem uh, template better. So by, based on that, we uh, we define this look quite complicated at first, right? Many fine. But in the conceptual, we we introduce new two concepts. It's about the add-on and variant. So it shows the problem. Add-on is for the some uh, common chain with the config. The variant is for the, the API or the web, the normal web page. As you know, uh, today Rail is for the web, not only for we render the web page, we also need to re respond something like JSON output for a single web page. So this is, uh, we consider it as a variant. And all of that, we uh, call the Nimble Rail template. It's still based on the original, original Rail template. And here is the directory structure, the add-on, like the Docker and other gem. The variant is for the API and web. And we also add a spec for testing the output of our web template to make sure it always work good. And the difference here is the main difference here is from one template file at uh, default, we separate it into multiple template file, and each of them will uh, have their own responsibility. Like the Docker, it will manipulate some action or some uh, de dependency related to to it. Currently. Uh, our template is version uh, 4.1.0. Uh, uh, we already finished the mostly for the backend, like the testing, the aspect, and the jam. The next, we will try to uh, improve the front end stuff, also the deployment, like Tailwind CD and uh, uh, Kubernetes Terraform. Also, in, try to integrate with some uh, latest uh, CI like GitHub Action and Schema for 2.0. Uh, Danger is about the automation code review. Yeah, let I will. Hold on. Here is the output. If you uh, run the command create new project using the Nimble Rail template, here we already uh, create some Docker file for the test for the dev environment and for the test also Docker file for worker and. Uh, as I say, it on support uh, red for testing like aspect here. Yeah, let imagine if you need new project, normal as as usual like right revenue, and it can be take a lot of time for you to to do something like that, and we cannot guarantee that there are no issue.
uh, let back to the slide. Here, I uh, not only the template, I mean we should think about try. Try is one of the major philosophy of real framework. Is the uh, don't repeat yourself, right? When you see some code duplicated, try to make it try. And if we see something uh, in our workflow duplicated, try to make it try. So we will get back our time and focus more on the important task, delivery, delivery more value to our customer. Yeah, then that's the, uh, my uh, main idea. More than that, at Nimble, we uh, use the template for all the technology like all the platform like Android, iOS, and uh, Elixir. You can check it out. Yeah, then uh, that's all from me. Thank you for listening.